Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for Week 11, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's get started here. It's a pretty full slate of games with the exception of the teams that are on a bye week. We're going to take a look at four of the games as we're getting down towards the home stretch of the season, and every game is important. Okay, so Carolina and Baltimore, we won't take a look at that one. Chicago and Atlanta, we're going to take a look at the top games that we feel have most impact on the league at this moment. Detroit and New York Giants. Here's one that's going to be an interesting and excellent battle. In the AFC East, the New York Jets take on New England Patriots. The Patriots and the Jets are both burning hot at the moment. You can see that New England is a favorite at home at 1.55 to 2.42, with a point spread of 3.5 points and over under at 39.5. You see here, New England has a 57% chance of winning the game. Um, if you take a look at the over under at the moment, both teams were under in their last game. New York under in three out of their last four while New England was over the line in four out of their last six. If we look at the score prediction, New England 32, New York Jets 22, but the confidence of prediction is low at 35% at the moment. Let's take a look at a few other factors here. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see that right now the Jets are at plus 21, while the Patriots are at plus 18. Jets on the downward trend. And New England's on a slight upward trend. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, let's see what the uh, stability factor is. You can notice here that Jets are very unstable, meaning that they have not been consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status, while New England has been at plus four. Let's see if there's been any movement in the line throughout the week. This is the money line for um, New England Patriots. You can see they were at, it opened at 1.41. There has been some movement in here, and it got to 1.592. It's been it was there for a while, and now it has set at 1.549. So either way, uh, New England has remained a, a favorite throughout the process here. I do like New England to take this one to win at home, and I believe that this will be a game that's going to be higher scoring. So New England and over the line. Philadelphia and Indianapolis. We're not going to take a look at that one. Um, let's go down through here. The Rams and the Saints. We will take a look at this one. The Rams are coming in dead status. They have lost five out of their list. Last six just going nowhere. Surprisingly bad. Uh, New Orleans Saints are ice cold down there. Lost their last two and two and four over their last six. The Saints are home favorites of 1.59 to 2.352 with a line of three and a half points and an over under at 39.5. You can see here that the Saints have a 55 45 uh, percent chance of winning the game. The score prediction is showing all Saints 32 to 14 with a pretty high level of confidence of prediction of 67 percent. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see here that the Rams were at plus 30 at the start of October, and because of their very poor play, they have pretty much just dipped all the way down to plus 10, while the Saints were at plus 8 on November the 7th, and they are now at plus 4. You look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their fair to underdog stats, moderately stable at a little bit above zero at plus two and plus three. Take a look at the movement in the line. In the money line here, this is the Saints money line, opened at 1.9, and now it's at 1.592. Now, I mean, the Saints have, are a more of a favorite now than they were to start, but in the end, I'm going to go against that. I feel an upset coming. I feel that the Rams are due to get back on track. I like the Rams in a game going over the line. Washington and Houston. Okay. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh. Dallas and Minnesota. This is going to be the game of the week. Dallas comes in uh, average. They're coming off of a loss. They were 4-2 over their last six. They're looking to win to keep pace in a surprisingly tough NFC East this year. The Vikings are burning hot. They have won all their games this year except for their lone loss to the Eagles. Both teams are at 8-1 right now. Um, 
The Vikings are have a 56% chance of winning this game, and they are a home underdog, though, 1.8 to 2.0. It's a slight underdog of 1.5 points, but an over-under set at 48.5. Speaking of over-under, Dallas has been over in three of their last six, and the Vikings over in four out of their last six. The score predictor has the Vikings 31-22 with high confidence in the prediction of 86%. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see not a surprise that both teams are up very high. Minnesota at plus 30 and Dallas is at plus 28. Are the two teams consistent? Well, Minnesota is extremely stable at plus 7. In fact, they have done everything. I mean, they have been performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats in every game except for last week. Let's take a look at the line movement. Has there been any? And it looks like there's been quite a bit of line movement. Look at this. It started at 1.73. This is the Dallas money line. And then it got to 1.8, back up to 1.3. Then stayed at 1.8 for a while, back up to 1.73. And the current line is at 1.8. In the end, though, I like Minnesota to keep on rolling. I like Minnesota to win at home and cover it at like a defensive battle, Minnesota and under the line. The last game we want to look at is Kansas City and the Los Angeles Chargers. In this AFC West battle, the Chiefs come in burning hot, winners of five out of the last six. The Chargers are average. They are coming off of a loss, and they have lost two out of their last three, four and two over their last six. The Chiefs are home favorites of 1.41 to 2.868 odds. Uh, point spread is at 4.5 with a high over-under at 51.5. Kansas City giving a 69% chance to win. And if you look at the score prediction, it looks like all char uh, excuse me, all Chiefs in this one over the Chargers, 41-17, confidence in prediction of 76%. Um, if you look at the over-under, though, you can see that both teams have been under the line three of their last four. Take a look at that. Um, the power ranks indicator shows Kansas City at plus 27, the Chargers at plus 20. Uh, the stability factor... Both teams have been pretty moderately stable, actually more than moderately stable at plus four, performing very consistently with regard to their favorite underdog status. Uh, the line movement, has there been any? It looks like there was a, yeah, there's a sharp line movement here. Look, it started at 1.41. Then there's a sharp line movement in favor of Kansas City even further at 1.31. But now it has settled back down to where it started at 1.41. For one, but still, the Chiefs are heavy, pretty heavy favorites here, particularly being that they're on the road. I like the Chiefs to win and cover in a game going over the line. There you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for Week 11. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.